Hello everyone. Today I wanted to take some time. It was requested from someone to actually show how to make little Amigurumi ducks. So these guys work up pretty quick and easily. For them we just need a couple of supplies. For this I'll be using a three and a half millimeter crochet hook. If you don't have three and a half millimeter then a 3.75 would work uh, well for this pattern also. We're going to need a darning needle. This is for weaving in our ends and attaching the bill of the duck. Now I am using some safety eyes. I will actually link everything in the video description where you can purchase these also. These you don't need safety eyes, but they are a nice little addition to add on to the duck for the eyes. It's not necessarily, you could always draw them on yourself if you wish to. A Sharpie will work for that very easily, but I do like having the safety eyes added to the ducks. We'll need a pair of scissors. We will need some poly pellets in order to stuff our ducks. These, they're actually a little bit of weight to them also. You can find them easily right at the craft store in all the stuffing sections. I have made them with just simply polyfill, but I really do not like how they turn out with the polyfill as opposed to the poly pellets. And we will need two colors of yarn. We'll need the color that we're using for the duck bill, which I'm using a yellow for that. And then the color of the duck that you're wanting to make. For this one, I am actually going to just make a pink duck. Now to begin this, we're going to start off with creating a magic ring. So the easiest way to do that is hold the end of your yarn between your thumb and forefinger. And then I wrap around two fingers. So our working end is on the top. And then I just kind of place it towards the back, take our crochet hook, and I come between my two fingers, so it's nice easily sliding in, pull up a loop, and then chain one to secure the magic ring. And then what we do is into the magic ring, we want to put six single crochets. Now that we have our six single crochets into the ring, we're simply going to pull the end of our magic ring to close it up. Then we're going to slip stitch into our first chain one of the round in order to join. So now at the beginning, it can be a little difficult trying to find that first chain one. Easy way is count back your six stitches. So right here is your chain one. And there we are with round one. Now for round two, what we're going to do is simply, we're working from here, we're going to single crochet two times into each of the next six stitches. So one, two, three, Five, six, eight. All right, 
And there we are with round two. So this round will end up having a total of 24 single crochet stitches made, or I'm sorry, 12 single crochet stitches made. Now to begin round three, we're gonna go into our first stitch of our last round. So we're actually gonna just start working in the round so meaning we're not to do a slip stitch at the end of each round and a chain one at the beginning. If you are changing colors every row, I really recommend do not work in the round because it leaves this little jaggedy edge onto it. It's, in my opinion, looks terrible. So into our first stitch here, we're going to put two single crochets and then one single crochet into your next stitch. And we're going to repeat this going all the way around. This row will end up having a total of 18 stitches. I do find it's easier just to count uh, out all of your stitches. So if you're good at counting by threes, you remember one, two is for the two. And then three is one stitch. So three, four, five, Six is one, seven, eight, go into the same, nine is the one, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, into the one. 15, 16, 17 into 1, and 18. And there we are with the end of round 3. And now for round 4, we're simply single crochet once into each stitch around. So it's uh, 18 single crochets. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And there we are. We can see it's just kind of starting to bubble almost. So it's closing up very slowly. And there is the end of round four. Now for round five, what we're going to do is single crochet into your next four stitches. And then we're just going to take a marker, which I'm just using a scrap piece of yarn as it doesn't need to be in here for very long. All right, and then just kind of place it off to the side. Then we're going to single crochet into our next stitch. And then one more single crochet. And then we'll take one more little marker, lay it across. Just like so. And then we're going to single crochet into your next 11 stitches.
and there we are with the end of round five. These are actually just marking our spots where our safety eyes are going to go because if we were to put the safety eyes in right now, it would make it next to almost impossible to fully do all of our stitches around them because of the backings for them. So here in just a couple of rows, we'll go ahead and add the safety eyes and we can remove those markers. But there is the end of round five. All right, now for round six, what we're going to do is simply single crochet one time into your next 18 stitches. And there we are for round six. And round seven is simply a repeat of round six. So single crochet again into your next 18 stitches. And there we are with the end of round seven. Now for round eight, what we're going to do is we're going to decrease a total of nine times. So to do that, we're going to go into the stitch, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all three loops. So we've created one decrease. And we want to do this a total of nine times, so eight more times. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. and nine. So basically right here, we've just formed the head for our duck. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a large size loop so I can remove my hook. Now here, I'm going to actually add our safety eyes. So simply right where the marker is, push our safety eye right through that spot. And I can remove that first marker and then add our back 
onto the safety eye. And then repeat with the second eye. Put our hook back into our end, and there we are. That is the full end of round eight. All right, and now for round nine, what we're gonna be doing here is starting to work the body of our duck. So into our next stitch here, we're gonna do two single crochets. And then into our next five stitches, we're going to work one single crochet. Then into our next three stitches, we're gonna put two single crochets. And there we are. That round had a total of 13 single crochet stitches made. And that is round nine. Now for round 10, what we're going to do is put two single crochets into our first stitch. Then into our next seven stitches, we're gonna put one single crochet And then into your next five stitches, we're gonna put two single crochets into each of the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, And there we are. As you can see, it's starting to push out more, forming the back of the body of our duck. That is the end of round 10, which would have had 19 total single crochet stitches made. All right, and now for round 11, we're gonna start off and into our first stitch here, we're gonna put two single crochets. Then we're gonna put one single crochet into your next 12 stitches.
And then into our next six stitches, we're going to do two single crochets into each of the next six stitches. And there we are with the end of round 11. And this round ends up having a total of 26 single crochet stitches made. For round 12, what we're going to do is we want to single crochet once into your next 19 stitches. And then we want to put two single crochets into each of the next three stitches. One, two, four. And then one single crochet into each of your next four stitches. And there we are with the end of round 12. This round ends up having a total of 29 single crochet stitches made. For round 13, we'll simply single crochet one time into each of your next 29 stitches.
four, twenty five, twenty six. Then for round 14, it's simply a repeat of round 13. So single crochet once into your next 29 stitches. And there we are with the end of round 14. Then round 15 is yet another repeat of round 13. So single crochet once into your next 29 stitches. And there we are with the end of round 15. For round 16, we're going to single crochet once into your next 21 stitches. Then into our next three stitches, we're going to do a single crochet decrease. One. Two. Three. 
and then single crochet into your next two stitches. And there we are with the end of round 16 and this row should end up having a total of 26 single crochet stitches made. For round 17 this one will end up doing a total of 19 stitches. So what we're going to do is decrease into your first stitches and then do two single crochets. And we're going to repeat that six times with a decrease into the last. So our first is a decrease. So that's stitch one. Single crochet into the next two. So that's two. Three. Decrease for stitch four. Single crochet in the next two. So five. Six, decrease again, so that's stitch seven, single crochet into the next two, so that's stitch eight, nine, decrease again, so that's stitch ten, single crochet into the next two, so eleven, twelve, decrease again, that stitch 13, single crochet in the next two, 14, 15, decrease again, 16, single crochet into the next two, 17, 18, and then decrease for our last stitch of the row which is stitch 19. And there we are with the end of round 17. Round 18 is kind of similar to round 17, but we're going to decrease once and then only single crochet once, but we're also going to repeat that six times. And then into our last stitch, we're going to single crochet this round will have a total of 13 stitches made. So we decrease for stitch one, single crochet for stitch two, decrease for stitch three, single crochet for stitch four, decrease five, single crochet, six, decrease, seven, single crochet, eight, decrease, nine, single crochet, ten, decrease, 11, single crochet, 12, then stitch 13 is our last for this round, so that's a single crochet. And there is the end of round 18. And here at round 18 is where we're going to start stuffing our duck. So grab your poly pellets and just start filling up your duck. So now that we have our duck all stuffed, what we're gonna do for round 19 is we're gonna decrease six times and then single crochet into our last stitch. So one, two, three, four, 
four. Five. Six. And then single crochet into our last stitch. Then we'll go ahead and draw up a loop. Yes, I prefer to keep extra long loops just because it's so much easier to cut off any extra as opposed to trying to add more later if I need. And you could always use the save the extra little ends for additional stuffing into any other Amigurumi projects that you're doing. And we simply want to use our darning needle and ensure that we have the bottom opening fully sewed shut. And then you could just weave in your ends. And there we are, all finished with our duck body. For our next step, we're going to make the beak or the bill of our duck. So we're going to take our yellow yarn. And we're going to create a magic ring, just like we did at the beginning of making our duck. And then we're going to single crochet six times into that magic ring. Pull the tail of our magic ring to close. And from here, we're going to put two single crochets into each stitch going all the way around. So we'll end up making a total of 12 single crochet stitches for this next round. And then we'll simply slip stitch into the next stitch in order to join the round. I'm going to pull up a long tail because we'll use this to sew the beak onto our duck. I'm going to trim off that little tail end. We'll need to thread the end through our darning needle. Then we take our beak and we just kind of fold it in half and I keep the working end off to the side. Then we just take our beak, we go down a row below the eyes and we want to sew it on 
right into here. So we have our eyes, the next row, and right into this row here, we're going to attach our beak. And this is going right through the very center of the fold for the beak. And then simply weave in your ends. And yes, because it is poly pellets, you might want to give it a little squeeze trying to form your duck up a little bit. And there we are. We have our little Amikurumi duck. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it that little thumbs up like. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, and if you have yet to subscribe, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button along with that bell notification next to it so you can get a heads up every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.